Alright, what's up everybody? I'm making sure this thing works. It's been a minute since I've used this. Figured I'd go ahead and do another review, try to get this uh, booziness out of the mouth after uh, let that sit for a second as I was sipping on it. Got a lot more boozier. Now I'm going to take a review, Gullah Cream L by Revelry Brewing. And as you can see in the background here, Gullah Cream L, Cream L, 5% ABV. Brewed with grits grown on Edisto Island by Geechee Boy Mill. So, we shall see, we shall see. Now, on the back of this, which I like the can, pretty cool can. It reads, inspired by Gullah culture, which has made an indelible mark on the place we call home, the cuisine we hold dear. Gullah cream ale is made using raw dent corn, utilizing a cereal mash technique, a lager fermentation, and a conditioning process that provides a smooth, crisp taste with a touch of grainy sweetness. As we visit our website to learn more about how Gullah cream ale supports Gullah Geechee's Gullah Geechee historical preservation. Hmm. Let's see, how does this pour out? Oh boy. Ooh, that's a hit on that. Oh, 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 oh. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? No. Wow, that's a... That is almost a cream soda color, too. I mean, it, it's... See-through, and it's got a golden color. It's almost caramel in nature. Or caramel tint to it. So, as you see, this is what a hard pour gets you. That's about a whole hand of head right there. My wife's in the room, and I said whole hand of, he whole hand of head, and of course her mind goes in the gutter. And so... I probably should have read this before I bought it, because I've seen cream ale and I'm like oh cool like a you know I, first thing that pops in my head is cream soda as you can see it still got a little bit of the foam on the top so we shall give it a second it's got a little bit of like cloudiness within it as well. I don't know if you can see that on here or if the this camera picks that up. But there's some there's some cloudiness within it itself. You got some bubbles rising to the top. A little bit of carbonation. There's nothing crazy, but still going on. Let's see, is there a born on date? And just to give you a hint, let's see, this is this video is going to be coming after the Moody Tongue, which on the Facebook, I've already released that, just as YouTube, Moody Tongue is before this. Um, other than Moody Tongue, everything that I got today at that store was local to me. So, Revelry, they're based out of Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I live about 40 minutes outside of that, so I'll let you guess as to which direction. Brewed and canned at Revelry Brewing. Hmm. I'm not really picking up any distinguishing notes. It almost has a smell of like a wheat beer. That's what it smells like to me, like a wheat beer. Like a like an actual Belgian wheat beer. Hmm. Alright, well, let's dive in.
That is smooth. Wow, that's smooth. It seems like you'd have a little bit different. There, it, it's got a. Wow, they're on that back end. It, it's got a. Wow, that is odd. I mean, that's. It's got a sweetness on the back end of it, as it reaches the back, reaches the back of your tongue and it goes down and it's got a sweet aftertaste to it it smells like a wheat beer it does not taste like a wheat beer it tastes very crisp and clean it's the best way I can describe it I don't I don't taste wheat I don't really taste corn so much but it's a very smooth drinking beer there on that back end though you get a you get a sweetness to it and it's not like an overpowering sweetness but it's a sweetness that's unexpected Uh, I, this has me baffled. I mean, it's it's ve it's a very good beer, but that taste, that taste, because it's it's not something you expect. And even after your third or fourth swallow, like it's not it's not unpleasant at all. It tastes good, but it's unexpected. Doesn't matter how many gulps of this you take. It's kind of it's just it's like wow, what you trying to pin it down? And I guess that must be the corn in it. That must be the corn in it. it has to be only thing I can figure because it's not it doesn't give you the normal like wheat beer or you definitely don't have an IPA there's no bitterness at all to this it doesn't have a normal it doesn't have a you know no kind of Budweiser type flavor or you know how some of the other domestics can taste it doesn't have anything like that and it doesn't have like a sweetness from like a, a dessert beer Wow, that's that's really really interesting. I I'm about to buy more of this. I'm about to take and drink more than one to give a final grade on this. Only, and I I say that because really, I mean, this is. For, for just how refreshing this beer is, or, or clean and crisp this beer is. I say refreshing, it, it, is, it is refreshing. I can't understate how good that is. How, how just, how clean of a taste this beer has. Um, it's not that it doesn't have flavor at all, it's just it has one of those, it's one of the smoothest mouth fills you'll ever have. Um, Man, this is just as of first tasting. I'm gonna give it an eight. Next time I go to this place, I'm gonna get another can or two of this, and I'll take a revisit this right now it's at an eight I mean this is very good drinking beer and I say I'm gonna take and buy two more because I wanted to I, I'm wanting to figure out because I think it's gonna take more than one beer to because like I said it's even even as much as I you can see how much is left in my glass I mean from here to here that back end that sweetness, it's unexpected, it's not something that's in the norm, it's something that it's not overpowering, but it's a nice change of change of pace. We'll give it an 8.25. Like I said, I'll, I'll revisit this. But for right now, 8.25. This is just... I, I, the more I drink it, the more I the more I like it. It's just that, that that back end is just you have to. If you see this, especially look, Dwayne, 
Jonathan, Rusty, uh, these are, you know, y'all that know me, know me, you see this, um, which if you want to make a trip to Mount Pleasant to go to Bottles, uh, but I, I think I've seen this at, I can't remember if it was Publix or, you know, maybe, maybe a Harris Teeter might have it, but if you see this, buy it. Dwayne, you should be able to take and buy this down at that little uh, spot uh, right up the road from your house. Um, buy this, and then I, I tell you, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I really do. Uh, eight point two, you know, eight and eight and a quarter out of ten. Normally, I don't drink that much on camera out of a beer. really good piss on it I'm going eight I'm going eight and a half oh really that's really good that's just man that's good um so yeah that being said y'all have a lovely evening